Hello, welcome to Netbook uh, Tutorials. Today I'm planning to show how we can use Open API specification in MuleSoft. MuleSoft is introduced with the new version 7.8 AnyPine Studio. They have come up with uh, you know supporting of Open API specification. First of all, we want to know what is a Open API specification. Most of them we are aware of Swagger is one of the design document for any APIs. Now there is a new initiative that is called as Open API Specification. Uh, previously we have a Open API Specification 2.0. Now the latest version is uh, 3.0. Now MuleSoft is supporting that 3.0 for entire life cycle of API. First of all, we need to understand what is the life cycle of API. So whenever we want to build in an API, certain things we need to take care. One is design. The next thing is we need to publish somewhere the design document. The third thing is we need to implement project using the design document. That is implementation. Then we can use the same design document for the deployment. After that, we should be able to manage the API. This is the life cycle of API. Now open API specification, we can create it in MuleSoft and we can, during the design phase, we can create it and we can publish into the exchange. We can implement Mule flows using the open API specification. And then we can deploy the same project in a mule runtime and uh, test it. After that, we can even manage the API in API Manager. So in MuleSoft, we have certain things for entire lifecycle. One is Design Center for designing, Exchange for Publish, AnyPoint Studio for implementation, our mule runtime is for the deployment purpose, and uh, API Manager is for managing an API. So I'm going to show now how we can do this in a MuleSoft uh, by writing the Open API specification. Let's start with that. I'm going to take one of the example that is uh, called as um, Contacts API. So first of all, we need to log into any point float form, go to the start designing in a design center. First, we need to design an API. So the contact API, I'm going to implement two methods. Uh, so let me, I have already. So first of all, we need to create a design the API in a design center. I'm going to create a API specification over here. I'm going to say contacts API. So previously we have a mule uh, support uh, RAML. Now we can even use open api specification you can select it from here so i'm going to select open api specification 3.0 version and then click on create api specification so i'm going to create this contact api which is going to hold the two methods one is get method another one is uh, post method for get uh, we are going to use for you know, retrieving all the details. And first method, I'm going to use it uh, for creating a new contact, okay? So you can see over here under this, I'm going to select as uh, contacts. I think this is, um, this is um, uh, JSON, JSON format. So make sure that we need to follow the annotations so which is going to hold two methods as i said get method and then comma i can implement first method also okay i'm going to design first of all so over here in the get method if you see let me bring it down this one so it's suggest even what needs to become next and all okay so in the get method i can put it over here, what it is going to have. Description, get all contacts. Okay, then I'm going to have 
a responses because of this is a get method we'll have responses always and i'm going to say that i'm going to get 200 as a successful response so over here uh, what is going to come um, within the 200 is we want to mention over here so i'm going to have content my content is going to hold applications like json so we can put the my application wants to support applications like json so i put it that one schema within the schema you can mention what it is going to have okay so some reference i can put it as of now i'm not having anything i'm just living as it is but you can see here there are some errors you can put a cursor you can know this okay um, description field so for the 200 the description is mandatory okay uh, so I'm going to say here description and get contacts response okay so that is one thing and over here see that not supported in the path not supported in this this is not correct okay let me correct it over here I just corrected over here contacts is going to have a first method and description is create contact I have a request body in the request body I'm going to hold so I can bring it down this one let me do that yes so I have a request body okay for the creating a contact and I will get a 200 successful response over here I have created a schema contact response similarly get method retrieving a contacts i have defined a response which is going to have list of contacts because of i want to retrieve all the contact details and this is where i have defined as a schema now you can see that this document is exactly working as a raml previously whenever i create a raml i can see this get method first method the design document over here I can do exactly the same thing over here using open API specification you can see this is the input I have um, when I send a request you can see that it is creating a response over here similarly if I go back to my sorry if I go back to my document if I use get method try it out and I should get all the responses which is a mocking response as of now because of the way raml supports the mocking the same way it works over here also see this design document it is an open api specification this is what it is done in a design center okay this is the first phase of any api designing api now i used open api specification in a mule soft to design a uh, my API so the next step is I want to publish in an exchange it is very simple same as your RAML what we used to do previously click on publish to exchange now I can mention the version 1.0.0 you can put it whatever the version you would like to put it and click on publish to exchange this is going to publish into exchange and can be shared with a clients or customers okay um, any third party and all okay so let's wait for publishing an exchange um, it will take a couple of minutes yes it is done now click on exchange we should be able to see i'm just closing this window um, come back to the exchange you can see in exchange the way we used to do before the raml once we publish the same way it is showing over here also see that create a contact and you can see in the summary page we have a get method first method and all okay so this is the second phase of our second step in the life cycle of api then third step we need to implement api using this this uh, api specification so Previously, we used to have in any Pine Studio by using a RAML, we used to generate a flows. Now we can generate a flows using Open API specification, which we created now. 
let me do that now so let me move on and explain next step in the life cycle of uh, api it is api implementation so we have published the contacts api in exchange so now let's go to any point studio and implement the project create a mule soft project over here create a mule project i'm giving the project name over here and let me go to from exchange i'm going to you know um, uh, import that uh, whatever we have uh, published the api design document that is open api specification which we published you know we need to make sure that we need to add account uh, we, we need to log in first of all if you want to import that uh, api design and here you can search the contacts api over here and we can see that contacts api netbook publisher and you can click on add so one thing to say over here i'm using anypoint studio 7.8 version if we use 7.8 the below version even though if you search it it will not find because this contact api is implemented in a uh, not implemented uh, designed in open api specification uh, so which is not going to support in a previous version of any point studio i just added over here click on finish so once we finish it uh, so it will add into the project over here the imported now it will add in a dependency this project now so click on finish so you can see here uh, sometime it takes some time couple of minutes maybe to generate these flows yes it is done now you can see the flows have been generated over here the project structure is over here now you can check out over here the down you should able to see two main flows not two main flows i can say two flows with a resource contacts first method you can see that uh, we have added a dependency here when i import the um, uh, import the uh, open api specification design while creating a project so it will create the dependency in a form and the classification will show that open api specification over here right so we can do whatever the implementation we want based on our business uh, here i'm not going to do any implementation as of now i'm just going to put a transform message and hard code some values as of now okay so let me go to um, the flow and put it to transform messages and it is a first method when it is a first method i know what kind of a response comes here i put it in example over here let me put it the same thing okay so i need to copy this example and i'm going to put it over here this is final response of the first method right similarly i'm going to get it for the get method also and uh, the response i'm going to hard code is the same thing okay so let me go to the town and copy this response and put it over here so this means we can able to generate a flows using open api specification in mulesoft now okay you know oh, i have observed one thing so when you create a project right so if you have normally in the previous versions you can download this raml normally if it is a raml you can download the raml as a zip file the project and you can create a new mule project and you can import raml from the local file but you can import only the raml you can't import the open api specification similarly download raml from the design center you can't download open api specification from directly from the design center that is still not yet uh, maybe uh, mulesoft has not released yet but only you can import a published apis so you can only open api specification publish in exchange and then only you can generate a flows otherwise it's not possible okay that is one thing i need to mention so now it is implemented 
step in uh, API is deep, you know, uh, deploying the project. I just right click over here and run uh, the contact API. Okay, so let's wait. You can see that it is trying to deploy this in a mule runtime embedded server over here now. You can see that project has been deployed now, contacts API. You can see that API console is over here. I'm just opening here. You can see I have this one. Now get it, click on get method, try it out, send a request. I should able to see the hard coded value whatever I have sent it. Similarly, I can go to the post, try it out. I'm sending this input and send once i send it i got 200 successful so the raml validation how it does in a previous version exactly will be done it even with open api specification if i remove that one of the field which is a mandatory the title it gives bad request with a 400 status code that is how it will work so that means we are able to do deployments in a mule runtime and we are able to test it even open api specification okay then the final step in our api uh, management is managing the apis right so now mulesoft provides api manager here to managing your apis applying the policies maybe a um, create, we need to first of all create an API in API manager and we can apply the policies and we can um, you know secure your APIs everything can be done it in an API manager so now I'm going to manage API manage API from exchange over here we can search contacts API you can see it is coming because why it is coming it's coming because of we published in exchange okay you can see asset type is raml or open api specification and by default it is going to come what version it is and it is going to come which version of uh, while creating uh, publishing in exchange we gave this version that's why it is coming this one and you can leave it as it is the default all these things and make sure that you check that mule version if you are managing this api in mule 4 obviously it will be mule 4 because open api specification will support in only in mule 4 okay so do that and click on save so that means even though if you if you are going to create a design in an open API specification and uh, publish in exchange, we should be able to import that in an API manager. And we can create that in an API manager. And see that this is the API created in API manager. We should be able to manage this over here. So whatever the policies you want to apply, you can apply it over here. You can click on the policies. So let me yes so you can see that apply a new policy and we can apply the different types of a policies which is provided by the mule over here okay so i will cover this policy and all in a, maybe in the later time but this is how we can manage the application or api in an api manager so that means by creating open api specification or maybe by using in mulesoft we can achieve designing of api publishing the api for the customers or clients and implementing api deploying api and then finally managing your apis all this can be covered with the api open api specification which is in a mule soft currently which is uh, with the latest version which they enabled it good that uh, there is a lot of improvements is happening in mule soft they are you know uh, come up with as many things many solutions that good thing um, hope this will be helpful for some of them and uh, keep learning and please subscribe like share this video thank you all see you in the next video